There was a time when if you wanted an instant photo, you needed a Polaroid. Digital may now be easier and cheaper, but for some, like professional photographer Carmel King, the iconic instant camera still has a certain magic. I think it's just that kind of square on square look, you know, and partly the bleached out tones and the, but also just because they're unique things, they're one off objects that, you know, you can give to someone. After Polaroid went bankrupt in 2001, the company decided to pursue digital photography and stop production of key film parts. When the supply ran out last year, this factory in the Netherlands was closed, despite still being profitable. Now, in one corner of the same factory, a small team of ex-employees are trying to produce film again. The old machines still work, but with the chemicals and components gone, they've got to develop a new film from scratch. It's all about reinventing and re uh, restarting the production of instant film, creating a new material uh, with the potential to exactly meet the demands of the modern um, photographer. The invention of Polaroid film was one of the engineering feats of the 20th century, managing to squeeze all the complex processes of the darkroom into one small film. Reinventing it is such a challenge, they've named the new project the Impossible Project. But they do have one thing on their side, over 300 years combined experience of employees who used to work in this factory. Without that, you just do not stand a chance. And if I would be on my own, for instance, and have to hire new people with an absolute brilliant technical background, uh, but not this background, um, I wouldn't do it. I mean, it would be hopeless, totally hopeless. If they succeed, the plan is to have the new film available early next year. At around 25 US dollars for eight shots, it's expensive. But the Impossible Project is hoping there will be enough photographers who will pay a lot more for a little analogue magic. James Fletcher, BBC News, The Netherlands.